So I want to make a video on um, continuing, having the opportunity to continue playing basketball, the game that you love. Um, a topic has came up a lot since I've been out here in um, Australia, hearing a lot of kids, a lot of athletes saying, I need to go D1. I need to go D1, referring to Division One college. And... The reality of the story is the perception is possibly if you want to have a career in um, basketball or you want to have a professional career in basketball that you got to play division one. Um, I'm here to tell you that's totally false. <laughs> totally fa false. So that perception of you thinking you need to go division one, you need to get that out of your head. Like the main thing is you want to go to a school that somebody wants you, that somebody's going to give you another opportunity to play the game that you love. Um, for example, when I graduated high school, I was a late bloomer. Um, I was a skinny kid, I was 6'1". Um, I had a good senior year, yeah, but um, I wasn't really getting too much attention from, from, from schools at all. I didn't know what to do. All I knew, the only thing I knew how to do was work hard on a consistent basis. So I continued to do that. I continued to, to work on my game. I continued to put myself in front of coaches. I went to um, junior colleges, um, open runs. And um, one thing led to another and I ended up at Saddleback Junior College. It's, it's, a, um, it's a community college out in, um, uh, California played well there I, I actually really learned how to play the game I won a, um, a state championship and from there um, I had some D1 looks but I decided to go Division 2 because that's a school that really wanted me I went into UH Hilo, Hawaii Hilo Division 2 um, and uh, I'm extremely thankful for that opportunity and I and that's where I, re I really learned how to grow up and I learned how to be a, um, I actually learned how to be a basketball player there. Like truly I fell into my own. Um, st things started coming easy and all that hard work was starting to pay off. And then from there, I started my 11 year pro career. So those of you who believe division one is the only answer, it's not true. The only answer is you have to become the best version of yourself. You have to work on your game. You have to build your skill set. You got to build your basketball IQ up. And you have to place yourself. You need to put yourself in um, a situation where you're going to be seen. And cream always rises to the top. If you're talented, people will find you. So, um, yeah, continue to work on your game, put yourself in situations, um, where you'll be seen and cream always rises to the top. It doesn't matter what school you go to, junior college, NAIA, division three, division two, division one, because there's a lot of D1 players that play pro, but have a short career. There's a lot of D1 players that graduate, um, from their Division one college and don't get an opportunity to play pro. So just embrace the opportunity to be able to, to continue to play the game that you love for a coach that wants you on their team. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters.